What's going on everybody, Dots Gaming here, and today I'm bringing you guys a clean user interface add-on setup for World of Warcraft Shadowlands. So I, one thing I get asked about a lot on my stream over on Twitch, if you do want to come check that out, links in the description below, is what are the add-ons that I am using, how do I have them set up, what are my base game settings, so I do just want to go over all of those today, just because, like I said, I do get asked about it a lot, so I'd like to always try to keep this video up to date. If you just want to see a list of the add-ons that I use, you can find them listed below in the description. But I'm going to kind of do this video a little bit different than I normally do, and I'm going to go add-on by add-on, and then just go over the settings for each add-on as I have them set up. Now, if you have no idea what add-ons even are in the first place, if you're a new player, basically what add-ons are is they are just modifications to your user interface that you can add so if you want to add some additional functionality to the game or if you want to change the way things look like for example my user interface has like a night mode dark type appearance you can incorporate those into your uh, user interface using add-ons now you might be asking well where do i get add-ons nowadays i personally use wowup.io very very straightforward client really simplistic easy to use um, you know, so I'll have that listed as well in the description below, but that's personally what I use to download my add-ons. But without further ado, let's actually get into the add-ons that I have today with the first one being Auctionator. Um, Auctionator is a pretty basic auction house add-on that just kind of gives you information on your tool tips for how much an item is worth. It also does give you some additional auction house functionality. Now, if you're a huge gold maker, you know, you might want something like Trade Skill Master, but for someone like me, I'm I'm pretty a pretty simplistic guy when it comes to gold making, but I like to just know when I get stuff and loot things, how much it's worth and how much I can roughly get for it, just so I know if it's a valuable item and it's worth keeping. You know, it could also be good if you're doing old transmog runs and you loot something and it's a BOE and you don't really want it to be able to sell it. Uh, so basically, what you're going to want to do to actually set this add on up, I really haven't made that many changes to it, honestly. Um, I have 15 set to the number of auto scans. Um, none as the default tab. I also personally uncheck this run auto scan when the auction house is open. If you don't uncheck this, it'll basically try to scan the auction house and, and update its database every single time you open the auction house. Now you could do this if you want to, but to me, I found it kind of annoying. So I basically just manually do it once a week. Um, there will be in like an auctionator tab at the auction house. You can just click full scan and it'll do it itself. Uh, I left all the tool tips checked. Um, and I don't think I really changed anything else. Selling items I have uh, set to be just 24 hours. Uh, I think if, if your auction doesn't sell in 24 hours, you're pretty much not going to sell it. Gear and Pets is for 48 hours. But honestly, um, I don't really do a whole, I didn't really do a whole lot of configuration with this. I just kind of left it out of the box, but just unchecked this auto scan. The next add-on that we use is going to be Bagnon. It's basically what just makes my bag in one window. I don't like the individual bags personally. I prefer the one giant window, so I use Bagdon for that. Um, I, I do personally leave unchecked the guild bank and void storage because if you use Bagnon for the guild bank, it will like actually remove some functionality from the guild bank. So I personally leave that unchecked. And then I just don't like how it is for void uh, for the void storage. So I literally just use Bagnon and Bagnon config. Now, the next add-on that I use is Battleground Enemies. Now, Battleground Enemies it basically is going to put something like this on your user interface whenever you are in a BG. If you ever, ever do rated Battlegrounds, which I highly recommend doing if you are looking to get some gear really quickly for your characters, I will have a guide detailing that uh, later at some point. Um, this is an extremely helpful add-on so you can see who the enemy healers are, the tanks, uh, their DRs on the left, you got trinkets and stuff on the right. It's just insanely helpful. Um, basically, all I did is I kind of moved it over here. Uh, I think in terms of things that I turned off, I unchecked the allies one. I don't really care. I have the party frames for my allies, so I just unchecked the enable for that. Um, I literally only want to see the enemy health bars. And then I think besides that, um, I did uncheck, uh, there was one thing I did uncheck, um, I believe it was enable notifications. So I unchecked this because it's just, you know, when you first enter a BG, it tells you like a hundred times, an enemy joined, an enemy left, an enemy joined, an enemy left. And so I just unchecked that. So that's under um, 
if you go into your enemies, 1 to 15 and 16 to 40, go to Raided Battlegrounds, and I just unchecked this. I found it kind of annoying. But honestly, I just kind of left everything else how it was, moved it to where I wanted to. To actually move it where you want to be, you are going to see this lock thing. You want to just basically uncheck that. You'll be able to move it around, and then you can uh, re-click it, and it will lock in place so that you don't accidentally move it while you are in a game. Our next add-on that we have, I believe, is going to be big debuffs. So... Big debuff, super, super, super helpful add-on. Basically, what it does is it puts on your portrait frames for your enemy, yourself, your focus, whether or not you are CC'd, have a big offensive or defensive cooldown, extremely helpful. It also on your, uh, let me actually use this add-on to kind of show you guys, on your party frames, it'll also show you if your ally is crowd controlled as well. So you can kind of see the crowd control will be right here. So I just find it very, very helpful. It gives a ton of very valuable information while you are in arena. Um, and I find it to be honestly one of my favorite add-ons that I really can't find myself playing without. Now, in terms of what I actually did to set this up, I pretty much uh, left a lot of stuff by default. Um, these are my priorities. I have immunities at 80, spell immunities at 70, crowd control at 60, interrupts at 55, defensive buffs at 50, offensive buffs at 40, other buffs at 30, and roots at 20. And then over here on the size, I made, uh, this is for the raid frames, because I want to see like those, like I said, those uh, CCs next to the unit frames. I did a dispellable CC and other CC at 60%, dispellable PVE and roots at 50%, other roots and warning debuffs at 40%, and then other debuffs at 30% with interrupts also at 60%. It just helps, especially if you are playing with somebody and no voice. It makes it really easy just to kind of see information about what they're doing. Our next add-on is going to be Covenant Mission Helper. So this is an add-on that I downloaded recently that just helps me with my Covenant missions. Basically, what it does is it kind of tells you how long uh, the mission's going to last, the offer time, like how long it will be available to actually send people on, what you're going to get as a reward. Um, and then you could just place in your units, and it will tell you if it thinks you're going to win or lose. So it makes it just like, easier to send your people on missions and have a, just a, like a more accurate understanding so that you're not basically just wasting your anima sending people on losing missions no setup is required for that add-on you can pretty much just use it out of the box the next add-on that we have is details details is the damage meter of choice now in world of warcraft shadowlands and holy crap does this thing up give you a lot of detail it is it could give you so much information man like if you just look at all the different things that you can look at like you're able to look at damage, uh, DPS, damage taken, friendly fire, if that was ever a thing. Uh, you got healing done, overhealing. You got um, the mana and rage and energy restored. You have things like deaths, interrupts, dispels. You can pretty much track everything that happens in a game. I know me personally, sometimes if I die like an arena or a battleground and I have no idea how it happened, I'll go and look at the death because it'll basically tell you what you were hit with and how you know how much it hit for and how long it was before you actually died. So it just helps give you some really useful information about, you know, basically everything that is involved in a combat situation now i didn't really go through any super crazy stuff to set this add-on up i pretty much just kind of installed it and let it you know let it do its thing if you're going to notice I'm, i do that for a lot of my add-ons i don't really go super crazy with like uh heavy customization i just use add on a lot of add-ons that can work really well right out of the box but when you first install details you're going to just go through like like a little wizard thing that'll basically you can answer these questions and what you specifically want out of details so i would just recommend then going through that wizard and you know just checking and on checking the things that you uh want personally i don't use streamer or tiny threat plugins but everything else i do pretty much use the next add-on we have is going to be easy frames easy frames is my unit frame add-on by far my favorite user inner um by far my favorite unit frame add-on i think it's absolutely amazing um, i just love the way it looks and so i actually did do a little bit of customization for this now i did check class colored health bars um i have highlight dispellable buffs and only if player can dispel otherwise it will just highlight a bunch of stuff that you can't actually do anything with um and i don't i don't personally like that so i i turned that off texture i do for blizzard um for player i do player frame scale is 1.1 with the portrait being default it's gonna originally show your class icon i change it to default uh hp and mp bar you're gonna do current max percent uh, font sizes I have as 10 across the board. And I don't think I really changed anything else from target. It's basically the exact same thing. 1.1 default 
current max percents. Otherwise, I don't think it really changed anything. Same thing for the focus. Um, for the pet frame, I did a one scale. And the cool thing is, is that if you don't like where the pet frame sits, you could actually unlock the pet frame and move it, which I find very, very helpful if you play a class that has a pet. Uh, for party, it's 1.2 with class portraits. I use raid frames anyway, so that does not matter. Um, and then I didn't really touch boss. Uh, so our next add-on that we are going to have after easy frames is Gather Mate 2. Basically, what Gather Mate 2 does, I think I'm not on my gatherer, so I'm not going to really be able to show you here. Um, but basically, what it does is it puts little points around your map whenever you mine or herb stuff. So if you do have a miner or an herbalist uh, or both, then I would highly recommend installing this add-on. I didn't do any configuration to it. I just installed it and let it do its thing. But what's really good about it is, like I said, it just puts little points on your map when you uh, mine or herb stuff so that you'll know next time where things are. Our next add-on is going to be Gladius X. Now, Gladius X is my PvP add-on of choice over Gladius or S Arena. I absolutely adore this add-on. It's not only got the stuff that you can expect with the health bars and mana and DR and trinkets and all that stuff, but it also has a little GCD thing. I don't really pay attention to that that much, but I love the fact that it basically has like Omni CD built into the add-on because I, I have omni cd installed but i don't use it i really i use this personally instead um or excuse me omni bar rather but if you you know if you like omni bar too obviously and you want to use omni bar because maybe uh gladius x doesn't track certain stuff that you want to use go right ahead but i really like the fact that this combines like those two add-ons into one so really really something i enjoy if you do want to move this around i recommend you obviously you uncheck lock frames you move it to where you want to do it and then check it i turned off show party frames i don't really need it um I only want the enemy arena frames. We got font size 11. Now, in terms of how I actually set this up, I did make some changes. Uh, my bar width is 200. Bar height is 40. We got frame scale is 1. Um, out of range alpha 0.7. Stealth alpha 0.4. And dead alpha 0.2. We also have, I don't think I touched announcements. Uh, for cast bar, we did a height of 25, did not change the text. Uh, for class icon, I basically have these four things checked with spec. I don't really think I changed anything here. Did not touch clicks. For cooldowns, I would basically recommend, you know, everyone's got cooldowns they like to see and not like to see. You can go through the cooldowns yourself and check and uncheck the ones that you specifically want to see below the arena bars, which I think is really cool. Uh, for DR tracker, we got cooldown spiral, crop borders. Um, I have adjust size, spacing one, text size 18. Health bar, I did class color, global texture with a height of 15. Uh, I don't think I really did much else in the way of changes. Pretty sure that's about it. But yeah, really, really love Gladys X for that reason. Like I said, I just did a little bit of uh, messing around with the skill icons and I just adjusted the size, which like I said, can be done here in the general tab. Our next add-on is going to be Handy Notes and Handy Notes Shadowlands. So this does exactly what the name suggests. It adds some handy notes to your map. It just puts little things like rares and treasure chests and whatnot that I find to personally be uh, very, very useful. Um, if there's some stuff that you don't want to show, you can just literally click this little um, icon up here. These two icons you got Handy Notes and Handy Notes uh or excuse me, click this one, the little chest. And you can basically check and uncheck things that you don't really care about or want to say. Um, I personally just have rares and treasures checked myself, but if you do want to have other stuff here, you can go right ahead, but that's personally what I have. But yeah, I really like handy notes. It adds handy notes to your map. Uh, after handy notes, we have KUI, which is my nameplate add-on and by far one of my favorite add-ons that I have. Um, it's just, easily my favorite my favorite nameplate uh but besides kui nameplates i also recommend downloading kui spell list because kui does put you know buffs and debuffs above your target when you are actually fighting them and if you maybe want to track a certain buff or debuff that you know isn't tracked by default you have to install this second add-on which is the kui spell list in order to track it so i do recommend installing that if you do run this now i did do a bit of configuration to this 
Um, I have rare and boss icon, target glow, mouse over highlight, frame shadow, quest and raid icon, all checked. For fade rules, I did non-target alpha is 0.7. That basically determines how, um, the, like the opacity of your non-target. So I check, make that 0.7, conditional alpha 0.3, and animation speed is 0.3. We got in name only with raid icon checked. For health bars, I did show absorbed, strife, absorbed texture, striped absorb texture enable execute range i play a monk um i've been playing a monk a lot nowadays so i do like to obviously see my execute range now if you are playing a class that doesn't have an execute i just recommend leaving auto detect range checked it just basically will tell you when someone's hp is low like 20 percent or less or you can even uncheck this if you don't care about it but since i play a monk with touch of death i personally uncheck this and manually set it to 15 since kui did not uh, basically recognize it when i did it uh, for cast bars, I did not really touch anything. I left it as is. Uh, for text, I did not do anything. For name only, I did not do anything. Frame size, I did width is 126. Height is 15. Personal width, 128. Height, 15. I did check target minus size with a width of 128. Height of 16. Width of 80. Height of 12. Uh, my click box padding width is 10. And height is 20. Uh, shadow size, 388. And then power bar height is 3 with a global scale of 1. For auras, I show auras, show purge, show on personal frame with time remaining with the timer threshold of 60. Um, I do, oh, I did touch this. So we got pulsate and center align checked. Side is top, vertical offset 15. Icon size normal is 25, minus is 18. Icon squareness is 0.7 and size per just 32. Basically, it just shows stuff. Uh, this is just like the size of the auras on the frame. And what I really like about this is that if you can purge something, it'll make it really big. So it makes it really, really easy to track. Um, I do tank. What's good is that KUI does have tank plates. So you just enable tank mode and do threat glow. It'll basically automatically enable and disable this, whether or not you are a tank, which is really cool. It did not touch it otherwise. I do show class resources, did not check boss mods or C VARs. But that is how I have my KUI set up. Our next add-on after KUI is going to be Lordy UI. That is what gives my user interface this like night mode thing that, you know, this night mode appearance. And I just have everything checked. Otherwise, I did not touch anything. Now, one thing I do want to note on in this video that I do get asked about a lot whenever I mention Lordy UI is, oh my God, what happened to the buttons on my mini map? If you want to access the calendar, you got to right click the calendar. And if you want to access the icons for the townsfolk, just click your middle mouse button and you will be able to still access those things. Um, but yeah, this is what basically gives my user interface the night mode appearance. The next add-on that we have is Omni CD. Omni CD is a really powerful add-on that can show you your cooldowns of yourself and your teammates on your frames. Find it to be an extremely useful add-on to showcase my teammates' cooldowns in arena, in raids, or in dungeons. It's just very, very helpful add-on. It's especially if you try if you play with people with no voice makes it really easy to track stuff even if you play with voice with people it's still good to be able to glance at and know what everybody has now i really only have this shown in uh in dungeons and raids as well as arena otherwise i don't have it shown i do font size of 12 uh 10 and 22 like this i don't really think i changed anything outside of this so this is just do how i have that set up though uh, i do maximum group members of 20 since outside i really won't run a raid that's bigger than 20. um now for arena specifically um i do the position on the left with offset X of four and Y of zero, horizontal layout with five columns and padding X and Y of three and three respectively. Um, I do show numbers for cooldowns, icon size 83%. Charge size 110%, counter size 85%, swipe opacity is 0.8. Um, you'll pretty much like, for me, like I just adjusted this so that both rows would be the exact same height as my unit frame. So you could just adjust the size based on the size of your frames. Uh, for highlighting, I do have this enabled. Uh, for white, uh, enable weak purple glow, defensive immunity, raid defensive. I have basically, don't think I touched this, but if you just want to quickly take a look at what I have, if you want to like relook through the scroll, but pretty sure I just left this as default. Spells, I will leave to you guys to check. Uh, basically for arena, you just, just go through, you know, depend on who you play with or what classes you play with. I highly recommend obviously showing the trinket and then checking big offensive and defensive cooldowns as well as important uh, crowd controls. So that's personally what I recommend doing for arena. And then for extra bars, I do not have that checked. For dungeons, 
I basically have roughly the exact same thing, um, except for um, I have stuff on the right instead of on the left. Uh, don't really change it all that much. Um, it's basically set up the exact same. Uh, just because normally when I run dungeons, my frames go up here on the left. So I just left it uh, pretty much exactly the same as the arena. The big thing that I did was for raids, I only use the extra bars one. Um, I use the raid bar. So basically what it'll do is it'll put like a little stack of green bars right here on the right side of my screen. And it will show me like a C versus raid CD or like it popped up really quick. I don't know why it immediately went away. Um... It'll basically just show in a row, like raid cooldowns such as uh, Vampiric Embrace, uh, Anti-Magic Zone, things like that. And so I used, I used that to basically track my team cooldowns whenever I am raiding. Uh, did not really do much in terms of uh, like actually changing it. I did, you know, 15 rows, icon size is 50%. Um, but I literally just went through the spells and enabled all the raid CDs that I cared about. But um, I did disable like all of the other bars for when I'm in raids. I just like unchecked all the spells that weren't raid cooldowns just so only the raid CDs would actually show up. Now, the next add-on that I do have is Postal. So, Postal just makes it so that whenever I go to a mailbox, I can open all of my mail with the press of a singular button. It'll just say open all, and bam, I can open all my mail. Makes it really easy to get um, to get all my mail. The next add-on I have is Raider IO. So, basically, Raider IO will show your Raider IO score for, you know, dungeons and, uh, like, raids and whatnot. Um... I don't really have one, obviously, that I could show on my monk because my monk is an alt. But especially if you hover over another player, it'll show you what their Raider IO is. As you can see on the bottom right, it'll show you their Raider IO and plus score, their best run, timed runs, uh, their Raider IO raid progression. So it just makes it easier to see your Raider IO and others so that you can make a really good group for Mythic Plus or for Dungeons. The next add-on that we have is TomTom. Tom. So TomTom Tom is my GPS add-on that I use to get to certain places and things on the map. Um, basically, for this, it just lets you put in coordinates and, and know where to go. So you could just use slash uh, way, and then you can just do like 10, 10, and it'll set a waypoint, for example. Um, and then when you're done with it, you just do, I just do remove all waypoints and then do yes. Uh, so basically what I did was I just have ask for confirmation to remove all save new waypoints as I remove them clear waypoint distance is 10 Automatically set a waypoint when I die, which is cool. So it'll show you where your corpse is um, Which I find really really helpful And I think it, the only other thing I changed is where the arrow is itself So you can basically move that around by right-clicking it and do arrow locked and then you can just unlock it and then move it around um, but otherwise, I didn't really do anything else with the add-on. It works pretty well right out the box. Um, I also do TrueFi GCD. Um, this is mainly for the fact that I stream. And so people like to see my uh, GCDs as I use them. So that is what this add-on does. I've had a couple people be like, my skills are popping up on my screen and I don't know why. Well, that's why, because you installed TrueFi GCD. Uh, basically, all I do is I only have myself checked. Um, and I have basically it only enabled in party raid arena and battlegrounds. I don't enable it in the world um, And I do scrolling icons and enable add-on and basically what I do is you know, you can just show the anchor And you can just move it to wherever you want it and uh, I personally like to have it right above my details and And that's pretty much it. You can it just shows your globals as you use them uh, But this is my uh, my settings for that now, the next add-on that I have is Weak Auras. So, I'm not going to go too crazy into Weak Auras. Actually, I'll cover Weak Auras and DBM last. Before I do that, the next add-on I have is actually, is actually called Reflex. It shows, like, a detailed history of my battlegrounds and arenas. So, if you do ever want to see, like, keep track of your arena and BG wins and how you did and how things went, uh, you can literally install this add-on and it will just track all that for you. I've didn't make any adjustments to this just installed it as is and it keeps track of some cool information for you now weak auras very very powerful add-on uh you can make basically auras and stuff uh for for just an insane amount of stuff it is insanely customizable um it'll allow you to just create notifications updates trackers you can do so much with it um it just, you're kind of like the sky is the limit. Like you've ever been like, man, I want to track a thing and I don't know how, install weak auras. So for example, 
I play a monk and I wanted to be able to see on my character without having to look at my bars, when is Whirling Dragon Punch available? Because it's got some conditions it needs to meet and when is Dance of GG available, you know, to like actually hit the proc. So basically what I can do here is I install, I created a weak aura for Whirling Dragon Punch that when it's ever is available, this thing ap appears above my head, I use it and then it goes away. I also have my Dance of GG proc, which shows this thing on the left, so then I can use it. It just makes it really, really easy for me to kind of track certain things that I care about whenever I am in uh, combat. So, and you can do so much with it, but that's personally what I uh, used it for. And then I also have some other stuff like killing the pod inside of Arena, uh, rushing Jade Wind for when I play Brewmaster, some stuff for when I play Demon Hunter or Feral Druid. So really, really, really helpful add-on that's extremely powerful. Uh, so lot you could do with it and then the final mod that we have is deadly boss mods if you do any raiding or dungeons at all i highly recommend installing dbm really really good add-on i know some people don't like dbm so you could use uh, big wigs and little wigs instead but dbm gold standard add-on pretty much for dungeons and raids you pretty much just install it and do your thing um, if you do not like the volume of certain announcements, you can go into the settings and lower the volume. You could also go through the different bars and, you know, unlock them and move them to different spots if you want to. But honestly, I have found DBM to work really, really well straight out the box. So you are more than welcome to use it as, uh, basically kind of like as installed if you want to. I do also really quickly want to discuss my base game settings as I do get asked about them quite a lot. So I do have auto loot checked with the loot key being shift, auto cancel away mode and open window or open loot window at mouse. For combat, I do have target of target checked, loss of control alerts and scrolling combat text for self with my auto self cast being bound to the control key. Uh, for display, I pretty much has left this as default, but one of the most important things I get asked about a lot is for the status text, you want that to be set for or both so you can see number and percent um, otherwise I just left everything I'm pretty sure as default for social I do I am style uh, chat whispers in line I hate the new like new window whisper window thing so I have them set in line with timestamps uh, just like normal online offline real ID and battle tag requests and spam filter but I don't show the toast these are just some like, notifications that I have I show the bottom left right action bars as well as the right bar and right bar two i lock the action bars with i use shift to pick things up always show action bars and show number for cooldowns or names i do friendly players and minions enemy players and minions and then i do enemy units minions and minor flash on aggro loss always show name plates i like overlapping name plates and i show all npc names i did not touch camera or mouse or accessibility the one thing though is raid profiles i have three different raid profile setups i have have one for arena which they're kind of positioned right here under my health bar um one for basically i call like primary or regular groups like 5 10 15 players this is mostly for like dungeons or battlegrounds um and then i do large groups if for some reason i'm in a really big raid or like an alter act valley so um i always do display incoming heals power bars aggro highlight class colors and show debuffs um and then i also do health percentage uh, now, in terms of when I'm in a dungeon, I keep things up here where my mouse is to the left. I keep them just kind of at the, uh, the the default location. And these are about what I have the um, sizes. And then I also, for arena, they're literally the exact same, except for instead of being up here on the left, I put them right here below my portrait. And then for large group, this is about what I make the sizes. Um, and then in terms of where I actually have my target focus and um, like self portraits, you can find those right here. This is where I keep everything located. So that like, for example, when I'm in arena, um, I can have my party right here below my frame. I have my self target and focus and then the arena frames right here. It just keeps everything right in the center of my screen so that my I don't have to go searching with my eyes for specific information. But guys, that's pretty much what I, I what what my add-ons list is. I think I covered everything. I don't think I missed anything. Um, 
My add-ons are, I, I know that it was a longer video. We're, we're cresting on almost 30 minutes, but I do use quite a bit of add-ons, but I try to use add-ons that are relatively low impact and that will just basically keep my user interface nice and clean. I really like the way my UI looks. Haven't, you know, done many changes to it. Just kind of added like a couple of little, little convenience things here or there for some uh, extra information. But overall, I mean, don't run as add-ons as so many as, uh, as some other people, but this is a really good setup for whether or not you PvP, PvE, tank, DPS. Maybe if you heal, you might want to install something like uh, like Grid, Voodoo, or Click. But um, for the most part, you can pretty much use this type of user interface setup for everything. I know some people swear by LVI, but I like to just kind of use this and get individual add-ons to do whatever I want and make a nice, clean setup. But hopefully you guys did find this helpful and the, this video did... Uh, give you some good ideas on add-ons to use if you did find it helpful i would appreciate if you left a like on the video if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below and guys if you want to see some more world of warcraft content here on my youtube channel pvp guides beginner content please hit that sub button as well as the bell to keep notifications on so thank you all so much for stopping by today i very much appreciate it as always i'm dots gaming and i'll see you all in the next one